As far as India is concerned, we are fully committed to playing our part in addressing contemporary global challenges. India supports the efforts of the UN Secretary General in continuing the Black Sea Green Initiative and hopes for an early resolution to the present impasse. India has always been proactive in assisting our partners in times of distress. Madam President, let me begin by expressing my appreciation to the United States on its presidency of the Security Council and bringing to focus the crucial issue of conflict-induced food insecurity. Given the paucity of time, I will be brief and submit the following suggestions for the considerations of this Council. First and foremost, we must work together to find common solutions through dialogue and diplomacy. Choosing peace, cooperation and multilateralism is essential for building our collective future. Strengthening the international architecture and governance systems to protect the global order, global laws and global values must therefore be a shared responsibility. Two, addressing the growing food grain shortages requires us to go beyond current constraints. As far as India is concerned, we are fully committed to playing our part in addressing contemporary global challenges as reflected in our membership of the Champions Group of the Global Crisis Response Group. Number three, India supports the efforts of the UN Secretary General in continuing the Black Sea Green Initiative and hopes for an early resolution to the present impasse. Recent developments in this matter have not helped in securing the larger cause of peace and stability. Very quickly, Madam President, I would like to state that India has always been proactive in assisting our partners in times of distress. Even in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, India provided food aid in the form of thousands of metric tons of wheat, rice, pulses and lentils to several countries, including in our neighborhood and Africa, to strengthen food security. In view of the deteriorating humanitarian situation in Afghanistan, India commenced the donation of 50,000 metric tons of wheat to the people of Afghanistan. Similarly, India has continued its humanitarian support for Myanmar, including a grant of 10,000 tons of rice and wheat. We've also assisted Sri Lanka, including with food assistance during its difficult times. All these were in keeping with our foreign policy priority of neighborhood first and our firm belief in the abiding ethos of Vasudhev Kutumbakam, where India sees the world as one large interconnected family. Leveraging our presidency of the G20, Madam President, India has advocated for greater efforts to accelerate the achievement of the SDGs, including SDG 2, calling for zero hunger. The Indian presidency is committed in our prime minister's words, and I shall quote him, to depoliticizing the global supply of food, fertilizers, and medical products so that geopolitical tensions do not lead to humanitarian crises, unquote. Thank you.